What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio One Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. Get yourself a copy of these drum slap volume two, they are the drums used in this tutorial and Studio One Tutorials premium membership is the only way to get the MIDI files for this tutorial. Now today we're gonna to be doing part three of our Looperator series. This time we're gonna be utilizing um, my template bus routing and we're going to use Looperator to affect the drums. So this is part three and we're using the same track that we've been using from Monday and Wednesday. Today we're gonna to tie it all together. Three different interested instances of Looperator on three different parts of the track all used on the same beat. <laughs> So Looperator can not only be used for, um, you know, affecting, affecting melodies and um, different parts like that, but is also really useful for creating um, switch ups in your drums. So again, uh, my, my tutorial for busing is on the beginners to, is on the beginners. Um, playlist uh, on on my youtube channel it's also on the landing page of studio one tutorials.com studio one tutorials.com the only place to get the mini files for this tutorial um so if i go to my uh to my drum bus right and i add and i add a, a copy of of looperator right and we add an instance of looperator i think the uh the most the most effective um preset folder to start in is stutter right and you know a lot of people have asked me in the past like yo cmp why are you putting your 808 on the drum bus technically it's not a drum it's an 808 um in the function of trap music the 808 um runs in in the rhythm of the drums so i do it knowing that i'm going to be putting these types of effects on there uh so um you know and you again just go through the presets find something that's dope <laughs> see something like this a lot of a lot of this is really annoying in the in the beginning right but i would like this for a turnaround so what i did is that you know i hold down the uh, hold down a uh, right click um just delete all that <laughs> But see, I, I want that to happen. I want that to, to happen just once again. So again, um, you know, automate is going to be your best friend here. So I'm just going to edit auto edit bypass automation. It's already, um, you know, bypass is off right now. So if I want to change that position, I'm just going to do this and draw the automation lane up. Right. So now. <laughs> affect parts where where we draw that in all right
so and then when you go ahead when you go ahead and you use all of these all of these together um you know that we that we've shown this week with the um you know with with using it on the hi hats right so so you you know you have a different hi hat right now Having this different drum part affecting the whole drum bus. Then you have this different hi hat part, right? And then, and then on top of that, you have this different melody part. So not only do we have our intro, hook A, hook B, verse A, verse, so not only do we have our first six parts of this track, um, by adding, by adding three different looperator sections, you know, now we've, you know, now we've turned it into, now we've turned it into nine different blocks, unique blocks that we can arrange with. And even though our melody is super simple and straightforward and our drums are simple and straightforward, we've added enough complexity to this beat that it's, it's not overpowering to a rapper, but it's entertaining enough where they're always going to want to be listening for, for the new change. And and that is how you get rappers to want to rap on your beats. Point blank, period. If you bore them, they're just going to want to hear the next one because everybody plays them beats. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio12Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one, fam.